Well, let's discuss all of these developments. Pooja Sriram, U.S. economist at Barclays, is with us. Pooja, good to have you on and uh, morning to you. Thanks for taking the call. So let's start by uh, looking at the market's reaction and interpretation of the events in the Middle East. Uh, of course, Tuesday was a day of volatility, but the market seems uh, fairly sanguine. Uh, for some reason, it seems to believe that this will be contained. What is your uh, sort of thought on what we're seeing right now, the uncertainties and just the way risk assets are poised, equities, oil saw a mild pullback, but in general, I mean, markets were not too unnerved. Yeah, hi, and good morning to, to all of you. Um, yeah, it's, it's been interesting. Um, we're, we're clearly following the developments quite uh, closely. Uh, for now, like you said, the sentiment still surprisingly seems to be fairly risk on uh, globally. Uh, it does seem like, um, you know, uh, there's there's a sense that uh, this might remain contained, uh, that it's unlikely to get out of hand, just given uh, that it could have pretty uh, large repercussions should it become, uh, you know, a, a, an all-out uh, war. Um, and just to sort of comment on the risk on sentiment, you know, uh, since, you know, I'm sitting here in the U.S. and I, and I cover the economy here, you know, the sense that we're getting here is, you know, the U.S. growth, you know, story still looks pretty good. Uh, we're seeing, uh, you know, an easing in monetary policy, which the Fed kickstarted uh, with a very strong move. And then we've, you know, also seen a broad monetary policy easing by other central banks in the developed, uh, as well as some developing economies. So against that backdrop, uh, I think there's some, some sort of an offset uh, to what's happening in the Middle East. Okay. Hi, Pooja. Good morning and uh, good to see you in. What are you factoring in in terms of Fed action, though, from year Ron, if you could uh, tell us, are you factoring in another 50 basis points uh, for the remainder of this year? And also, I wanted your comment on crude oil prices. For now, the UAE as well as Saudi Arabia, they are sitting on the sidelines. And if needed, they could ramp up production as well. So I guess that's one of the factors that's weighing on crude oil prices. What's the range you're working on? Comment on both Fed as well as on crude oil. Sure. So I'll start with the Fed call first. Um, you know, our baseline is two more 25 basis points cuts uh, this year. So one in November, one in December. And that's exactly what the FOMC had penciled into their projections as well. And, you know, the rationale there is, uh, you know, there is the data in the U.S., uh, particularly on growth, on consumer spending, still looking quite healthy, uh, which suggests that there is, you know, a fair bit of momentum left in the economy. Of course, the one pocket of concern remains the U.S. labor markets, which is why the data that comes out on Friday will be critical uh, to, to how things proceed. But our, our base case is, you know, even the labor markets seem to be cooling in a very gradual, disciplined manner. Uh, and we think, uh, you know, 225 basis points is likely to be the way forward, unless the data tells us uh, otherwise. Um, and just coming to your second question about crude oil prices, uh, yeah, it's, you know, surprisingly, they haven't reacted as, as much as one would have uh, expected. And, uh, you know, there is definitely a bit of that supply uh, boost that we're talking about, which is possible. Um, and, uh, you know, our, our own sense is uh, that, uh, you know, we could, we could see a scenario where it, you know, uh, goes up to about $85, $90 a barrel by the end of the year should these uh, should should the war sort of continue and, and, and exacerbate. But they're likely to be offsets from the inventory situation as well. Okay. So as of now, Pujar, to sum things up, you are still going in for, uh, you know, the expectation of a soft landing in the U.S. and a resilient economy and positive markets, right? Yes, that is right. With the caveat being, uh, if you could just repeat the level on oil. Uh, we're about 85 to 90 by the end of the year. 85 to 90. So that still gives plenty of cushion and comfort from where oil prices are right now, uh, even if yeah. uh, there is an unfortunate flare-up uh, in the Middle East. Thank you, uh, Pooja, very much for uh, joining, joining in. Good to get that perspective. So that's uh, a view from Barclays on, uh, of course, how uh, the U.S. economy is poised right now and what potential uh, the, the flare-up in the Middle East, what potentially that could do to oil prices. Well,